Hi guys, it's Alina. So I am back on YouTube finally. So I wanted to do my really, really postponed labor and delivery story. So I did have my daughter, Mia Alicia. She is now four months as of today. And um, I had her on October 30th. And February only has 29 days, so... I guess the first of March would be considered when she's four months. I don't know. I didn't understand how to do that, but that's just what I'm going to say. And yeah, so why don't we just jump right into it? So I'll say about four days. If I keep looking over here, it's because she's on the bed. I'll show you guys her once I'm done. But yeah, I'm just keep looking on the side to make sure she's okay. So at about four four or five days before um, I had her, I was starting to feel like slight contractions, just a little here and there, contractions. So they were just like, ow, you know, it's kind of painful. Oh, it kind of hurts. It was just, you know, whatever. I thought I was having contractions. So what I ended up doing was I just decided to walk and walk and walk and walk and walk. And then I started filling them a little bit more, so we went to the hospital, and I got the little um, sticky things on me, and they were monitoring them, and I was having contractions, and I was having them about three minutes apart, but it wasn't even, like, hard. I could breathe through them. I went home because they said it wasn't progressing. I wasn't dilated. I was still dilated at a two, so there was no reason for them to keep me. So when I went home... I walked and everything like that and they just stopped I didn't have any more I was really disappointed because I really wanted to ha wanted her I really wanted to have her that day so I mean there's really nothing you can do but I was just walking up and down our block I was just doing everything that I I could and it just stopped labor stopped and then um so that whole week I'm walking, I'm doing whatever I can to have this baby. Then the 29th comes. That day I was like, you know what? I'm going to have this baby. Like, I don't care. I'm going to have this baby. So that morning I get up, I walk around the block, I do whatever I can. I do lunges. Then I come home and I eat some hot food. Then after that, I come out and I'm dancing for like four hours straight. I'm not even kidding. Like, I just dance, 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 dance. Then I got in the bath and I stood in a warm bath for a while too. Then that night, I did other things <laughs> to have the baby. And before I knew it, my water breaks. And I was like, oh my goodness. It was about 2 o'clock in the morning when my water broke. And me, I just tell my husband my water like it's my water and I stand up and it just flo flows out of me like my water just is there and there was no denying the fact that my water broke so instantly after that I was like I have to go to the bathroom I'm freaking out I'm laughing I'm just like oh my gosh it's about to get real right when I go in the bathroom to go pee like they started hitting me and I was like oh my goodness like I thought I was having contractions before no, like these are real contractions and I'm just sitting on the toilet and I'm just like oh my gosh like sorry this is a little TMI I wasn't pooping or anything I swear <laughs> it was just like it was a lot of pain and I didn't even have the strength to like stand up like it was so painful and um as you guys know I am staying with my parents for right now till me and my husband get our apartment so my husband ran to my parents room and he's like there she's she's like into labor like her water broke and so my mom goes and puts on her grandma shirt that she wanted to wear when I had her and she comes and she knocks on the door and she's like are you okay and I'm like oh no no like it hurts really really bad and then finally like I got a break I got up and I went into my room and oh my gosh they just started hitting me one after another and I'm holding on to the crib and I'm just like rocking back and forth oh my goodness it was so painful and I only waited at home for a good 10 minutes before I went to the hospital because I it progressed so quickly once my water broke so we got in the car we drove to the hospital which was only six minutes away and um, we walked up to the labor and delivery area and I had to wait another like five minutes until they were able to get me into a room so I'm there like in the wheelchair like oh I'm just breathing and trying to get through the pain and then um after that 
uh, they pulled me into the main room, I guess, where you have your baby, and then after you have your baby in that room, they'll switch you to another room, which is like your permanent sleeping area. Sorry. <laughs> She's playing with a box. And, um, so they pulled me into the delivery room, and I'm there, and they're like, are you sure your water broke? And I'm like, I did not just pee on myself and then start having stomach pains. Like, dude, it broke. I know it broke. So they go in the room and they're like, oh, you know, you're okay. Just breathe, breathe it out. And I was like, I want an epidural now. Like, I am in so much pain. She checked me. I was dilated to a four. And I was just like, oh my gosh, it's so painful. And I feel like I could have went through it without a epidural if I was able to stand up use different positions but when you're forced to go on your back it is like the worst feeling when you're contracting like it's horrible so I was not happy and I was just like you know what just give me the freaking epidural because I can't do this so I had to wait an hour for them to give me the epidural during that time I'm signing papers do every everything it only seemed like 30 minutes before but I was in so much pain as soon as they put in the epidural it was like it was like I could breathe, but I was um, shaking really, really bad from the epidural. Hold on. Anyways, sorry, I had to yawn. Okay, so I was shaking really bad from the epidural, and I was starting to feel pressure down there. It didn't even feel like four hours had passed, but it had by that time. And I was just laying there, and then I started telling them, like, I feel a lot of pressure. And... Well, before that, actually, I go and I'm like, Mom, did my catheter fall out? Because I felt a gush. And I was like, I think my catheter fell out. And my mom's like, no, you know, they said that you probably feel that. And I was like, no, like, I think it fell out. Like, I think I just peed on myself. So my mom walks around the room while my husband's holding onto my arm. And she looks underneath and she just stands up straight. And she's like, okay. And she calls the nurse and the nurse comes and... I guess supposedly I was drenched in blood like I thought it was pee but it was blood like I bled everywhere and the lady said it was normal so I wasn't too freaked out but it was a lot of blood but anyways after that I started feeling pressure and the nurse comes in and she's like oh honey you're gonna feel pressure it's okay that just means your baby's coming I was like no like this is bad pressure like I've never been pregnant before and never had any of this but I know that this is not normal so she goes and she checks she's like oh you're dilated to a 10 and I was like I told you so by that time they go and I'm doing practice pushes I'm doing everything I can long story short the fourth hour comes and I just give it all I can and I finally pushed her out and she came out I had a very very short umbilical cord which is really weird so my husband wasn't able to cut it the doctor had to hers was extremely short and um I guess I had bled a lot she had swallowed some fluid so they kind of had to hurry up and take her and squeeze everything out because she was not crying so that was a little bit of a scare while I was just I mean I guess my family they got really worried because I was bleeding so heavily after and I didn't feel sick, I didn't feel anything like that, but I bled a lot, they said. And my husband, my grandma has seen all her kids give birth, and she was worried. Sorry, <laughs> she's talking. But she was even worried about how much blood I had. Everything ended up okay, though. And, I mean, the nurses that I had, I was so blessed. They were so awesome. Like, they were the nicest ladies ever. Um, at first, my daughter wasn't latching when we were in there. They, she just wasn't eating. She was so exhausted because she was stuck in, like, the canal, basically. For four hours, she was stuck there going back and forth. So when she was born, I mean, she was just limp. Like, it was so sad. She was just so exhausted. She slept, like, forever. Like, I had to wake her up. A couple times and for a good 48 hours she didn't eat anything so I had to stay another day in the hospital because she just was not eating at all also I kind of had to like force her to eat it was really sad and um, my milk really didn't come in a lot at all it was just a really bad situation when it came when she was first born like there was it was just lagging in every possible way it was really annoying 
But they ended up letting her go. She was um, 6 pounds, 7 ounces, 18 and a half inches long. She was a very petite little baby. I mean, she was really, really little. And um, she looked sort of like a little alien. Like, she was so little. And we didn't expect her to be that little because me and my husband are the tallest people in our family. And my husband is, like, a bigger built man. So I was a normal size baby, so I didn't expect to have, like, a very little baby at all but she was and I mean she was very healthy we were having problems with her uh, eating at first and we supplemented with formula she did not take well to formula at all she was having really bad stomach pains so I kind of just said you know what I don't care I'm gonna breastfeed her and we are gonna make this work and so now we are exclusively breastfeeding she has been breastfed for four months now um, I will feed her from the boot where I'll just pump and then give it to her in the bottle. But yeah, guys, I mean, she is very healthy. The labor was so easy. It was so good. I am so sorry I didn't make any videos of her once I did have her. Um, we, we just had a lot of doctor's appointments and everything because she was so little. She was so petite. She was very fragile that they wanted to see her a lot more and the fact that she was not eating. So we were really busy on that, getting a whole bunch of other things figured out. And then three weeks later after I had her, I got in a really bad car car accident so I couldn't make any videos there either we were both okay but I totaled the car and so at that point it was almost like I couldn't make a video then either so now everything's good we're great everything's fine and now I can start getting back to making YouTube videos so yeah I will grab her and show you guys her because now she's going a little crazy so hold on real quick so this is little Mia. <laughs> What's in the face, Baba? <laughs> this is Mia Alicia. She is now four months old and she's a big little girl. She's so big, she looks like her daddy's. And yeah, she is such a great baby. She's so funny, she's so smart too. She grabs all her toys now and everything. She's just a very, very smart little girl. So yeah, usually she has bows and everything in her hair, but she just woke up from her nap. That's why her hair is a little rough right now. But I'm kind of the mom who always has something in her hair. She's always wearing a jean jacket and shoes and stuff. I kind of overdo it, but she's my first. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know why I haven't been making a video, but as well, update you guys on everything because it has been a very long time since I've made anything. So yeah, guys, be expecting more videos from me down the line. And here's little Mia again. Mwah. My big girl. She's a very happy baby. So yeah, look forward to seeing more videos. And I will be keeping up and making a normal YouTube video schedule so that way I'm not just making one once every blue moon. <laughs> so yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you guys later. Bye! Bye! Okay, guys, so this is the beginning of everything that I'm going to show you. Okay, so right here in this little bag, this is usually in this bin, but for the sake of this video, I didn't really want to take it out and put it back in. So that bag right there are things that we don't want. Um, all this stuff in this bin were either given to us from my god, um, my god sister's mom or friends. So all in here are newborn to six-month clothes.